Hello everyone, I'm Denzel Marquise and I have a digital first exclusive interview with the head coach and owner of Mississippi's first women's basketball team. Everyone meet Aja Williams and Miss Mary Bolton. So hello, thanks for joining me today. Thanks for having us. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, so Aja, you are the um, owner, correct? I am. And you're going to be a player? Yes, I will. And Miss Mary, you are, the who head, are you? The head women basketball coach for the Lady Eagles. All right. Eagles. Yes, the Eagles. All right, for you, Aja, so tell mm -hmm. me how did this team come about? How did everything start? Um, it started when I went overseas and played in Spain. It was a short term, but it was great as well because it gave me some experience of how it worked. So when I came back to Atlanta Monarchs, I played and I had a great connection with the owner. And now she owns the league, the Women Professional Basketball Association, and she's given me the opportunity to have a team in Mississippi. So I want to give back to my youth and the girls who play, who were just like me, talented and had nowhere to play. So we're gonna bring it home to Mississippi. Right. So why Mississippi? Because it's my home. I grew up here. I'm, uh, I played at Provine. I was a Danny Dozen. Had a lot of accolades. Played down at Holmes as well, Hall of Famer. And I had a lot of support. And I want to be able to give that back because the women and the youth, we deserve it. It's about time for it. Okay. How did Ms. B Ms. Mary Bolton come about? Well, um, I've been knowing Coach for a minute. She actually recruited me out of high school. And um, also when she played at, I mean, when she coached at Hines, I was playing at home. So we had a good connection. She also coached with my dad. So, you know, good people, great to have around. And um, when the team approached me with this, with the opportunity to have her, I loved it. So uh, I had to bring her on. Yeah, so, Ms. Mary, what do you think you can um, add to the team? And what are you looking for out of your players? Because I know trial is going to be next week. So tell me, what are you looking for? Well, first of all, um, what I feel like we can, I can bring, uh, as A just said earlier, uh, we're Mississippi girls. Uh, mm -hmm. we, we've been playing this game for a long time. I had the opportunity to uh, play in my younger days. Also, I have two sisters mm -hmm. that uh, Ruth the Bolton, a two-time Olympian, and another sister, Mayola, that was an All-American, played at Auburn University from, from Mississippi. Mm -hmm. So we've been around sports a long time. Uh, and we are very, very, like, very involved with uh, women basketball. And, and what I'm looking for for players is players that can, of course, we can't play above the rim like guys, but yeah. we can run the floor and knock down some threes and bring some excitement in yeah. that the fan can, can enjoy watching out of our players. And I feel like we, we're, we have p players that are uh, capable of having that exciting uh, style of game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So tell me, um, back in the past, tell me, the previous teams you have coached for, the schools that you have coached for. Yeah, just talk about that for me. Well, I've had the privilege to work at every level, uh, almost in women basketball. I've coached at high school teams, uh, Heidelberg High School, Paris Central High School, left there and went to the University of Southern Miss, coached uh, uh, as, an, as an assistant coach there, mm -hmm. worked uh, on the Kate James, uh, a very well-known uh, icon in women mm -hmm. basketball. Uh, coached at Jackson State University as assistant under Denise Taylor, uh, left there and went to Millsap College at a Division III. Um, coached there for four years, brought in some great, great players mm -hmm. um, that uh, could have had the opportunity to play at a D1 school as well. So, and from there I've been playing at the, uh, coaching at Junior College yeah. at the Heinz on the uh, Tamika Reed. So, so I played at, uh, been able to coach at different levels and seen players of all, all different levels. So mm -hmm. uh, I'm excited. Okay. About what this opportunity is going to bring. Yeah. Okay. So how's trials going to work? It's going to be Sunday and Monday. So tell mm -hmm. me how, how it's going to work. So Sunday, that will be closed just for the players. We're going to evaluate them, get them opportunity to feel and get comfortable. And then Sunday, we're going to bring the crowd in, and we're going to give them an opportunity to see, if, can you play at this level? Yeah. And for the crowd, we want to be able to give you this game, professional game experience that we're going to bring because we have players that's from the WNBA overseas and um, straight out of college. So it's going to be very exciting. Right. So that's what we want to do. We're going to bring that excitement back to Mississippi. I grew up here. We've been around it. We love basketball. So let's bring it together on a professional level. Right. So all the players to try out you have to be 21 years old 21 years older and um it doesn't exceed like we don't have to be 40 and uh, it's 21 older yeah. so um that's what we're looking for we're looking for talented women who's dedicated and willing to work we don't yeah. we, this is real professional basketball we want okay. to be able to make sure we can keep that all right could y'all tell me um about the process of because i already know you guys already um added some people to the team because y'all tell me who are those players and where are they from if you do know them from the top of your head 
Um, for one, we have um, Carissa Banks. She played at Forest Hill, Colleen, and also Troy. She has five championship rings. So we're very, very excited to bring her on board. Um, we also have Ariel Wilson. She was a dandy does in her high school as well. And um, just top off my head, uh, Jamelia Sanders. She played at Ken, went on to Colleen and Mississippi College. So we have a lot of girls that's talented like myself because I will be playing. That's what I want. I want to bring that fire and that um, that I'm gonna say mama mentality because yeah. I was a Kobe fan and I want to have a team full of women like that and those who I chose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Miss Mary, the keys to winning a basketball game, what's the, what's the main keys to winning? Uh, the key to winning a basketball game is being able to have, uh, I heard one coach say one time, the coaching is overrated. So you got to have players that, as Aja said, that has the heart and the passion and willing to, the game is won off the court before the season starts. So mm -hmm. those players that are committed, that's gonna spend that extra time outside of practice, working on a shot, working on defense. Those are the kind of players. That's what it takes. She, she mentioned the word commitment. Mm -hmm. You gotta be committed. I don't care what level you are, but to be a winner, you got to be committed. It's been proven by your most successful players when they talk mm -hmm. about LeBron James and Kobe. The, those players talk about being committed to it. So that's what it takes. It takes that commitment mm -hmm. on and off, and off the court. Okay. So. So, Asia, tell me, what um, organization will the Mississippi Eagles be a part of? How many teams, and how does the traveling work? Um, yeah. Okay, so we are a part of the women professional basketball team, WPBA, and we have teams all over the East Coast. We have 12 teams, so in that case, we'll be having um, games here and there, so that's bringing um, revenue into the state of Mississippi. That's what we're really hoping and creating jobs. And um, the, skill, the schedule just released. So we'll be able to see who we play and know things like that. So we're traveling, we're looking for sponsors as well for traveling, and we are uh, sponsored by Courtyard Marriott. So um, we will have those as well for our rooms. Okay, so let's go back to trials. Um, mm -hmm. Give me the time, the place, and what's expected. It's from 6 to 9 at Tougaloo College, and that's February 16 and 17. And what is expected is hard work dedication energy. You can't do nothing in life. I had to learn that because coming from Mississippi, we, we kind of tense. But when you go outside of the state, everybody brings their energy and it's proven that it's, you're going to be successful. So that's what we're looking for and being happy to be a part of something great. This is, we're about to make history. So this, this is, that's just what we're looking for. Just have a good time. Don't come in too tense, things like that. This is time to be alive, really. Yeah. So. All right. Well, anything else y'all want to add? I just want to say uh, I'm, I'm just excited about being a part of this team. Yeah. Such young entrepreneur yeah. with a vision that something that Mississippi had been needing for years. Mm -hmm. I was talking with someone earlier and they were talking about the previous players that had come here and contributed to women basketball have not gotten any more any recognition or that a professional team has not been organized here. So I just, I take my hat off to Aja, young African-American woman with a vision to see this. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited, I could flip. Yeah. Right now, I'm excited. Yeah, no this, clue. Is, this is this is this is the hour and yeah. the season yeah. and the time. It's, yeah. it's not a better a better time or a better opportunity. And I just want to say thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of this great move. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Ma you only 24, you. and you're the owner of this team. Like, how how do you feel about that? I'm uh, very excited and nervous at the same time. Yeah. Um, because I am the youngest team in the uh, league. So, with team owner in the league, so it's kind of. A learning experience, but at the same time, I'm ready for it. And I think this is great. I have a great uh, support and great staff around me, so we're ready. All right, so there you have it, a digital first exclusive interview. Thank y'all so much. Thank you. You both good. Yeah. <laughs>